hey guys welcome to yet another episode um for this week i am sure some of you are already contemplating whether you should start a sewing hobby or not i hope by now that you've been convinced that it's worth starting so this is the last episode about the hobby thing um, i'm just hoping that at least the information i've given you has convinced you if you have any questions maybe you could let me know if you really need more information about starting sewing as a hobby but it's one of the probably one of the cheapest hobbies you could start and it's probably also one of the most accessible because i think in every country people sew anyway this week um it's a simple video i just want to recommend a couple of youtube channels that have been very beneficial to me um when i want to learn certain techniques in sewing or uh, something i'm not used to sewing or just supporting a fellow creator because i just love their content and I'm going to recommend 10 YouTube channels that you could check out for sewing projects that you may be interested in. I will do again five um, channels that are crafty and then five channels that are more fashion based maybe for clothes and things like that. I think that would be more beneficial. A lot of them do use a sewing machine because generally once you start sewing as a hobby you probably have invested in a sewing machine there are not very many channels that have um, um, no sew projects but a lot of these channels also do have some of those projects that you could do without sewing so it's just better to check it out some of them I really really admire their level of thinking a lot of them do not even have um, sewing backgrounds you might find that um, they are very artistic but maybe not necessarily designers or work in the fashion industry but they do know how to work with their hands so you find that sewing just came as one of the things they do so some of their projects may not always necessarily be about things to wear but just fun craft projects if you like making costumes some of them sell patterns and all sorts of things that you can do the projects but it's definitely worth checking out it's some of these channels are the ones that help me make uh, the face masks um, that we were selling during the pandemic season and the truth is it's always good to just share this information so I am just going to begin with the channels I'm hoping this video is going to be short because it's 10 and 10 and done let's begin <laughs> So we start off with Dolive B. I don't know if that's how she pronounces it. Dolive B TV. The creator of the channel is called Dolapo. And she's basically a millionaire who is generally a person who sells um, hats. So makes hats, hair, accessories for women. And she does a lot of experimentation. I really liked her channel because of that she does offer classes i think that is the main way she makes money i don't think she necessarily sells her creations i may be wrong because from basically the research i saw of her channel she does offer classes the best way to get information about her is through her facebook page with the same name and she has a whatsapp number there so i liked her tutorials um, because they're easy to follow especially visually She's not necessarily the very best in explaining the process, but she is very good at showing the practical way of doing it. So if you are interested in headwear, turbans, fascinators, anything to do with your hair, definitely this is a channel to check out. Another craft channel I would definitely recommend is Butari. I hope that's how she pronounces it and the channel creator is called tariro and she's from zimbabwe but she lives in south africa so i did like how she gives her instruction she gives very very good instruction and she does do a lot of accessories um, african inspired accessories with a lot of her accessories as well influenced by um, South African culture and by that I mean just the countries in the South of Africa not necessarily South Africa the country yeah so 
she generally she's just a youtuber i don't think she sells anything i don't think she has um classes and she doesn't seem to have a shop but she does share i think a bit of her personal life as well on the channel but she does uh, simple accessories and even some very very basic um apparel that you can easily make um if you have basic sewing skills but yeah majority of her um content is accessories so check that out as well the third channel i really really um recommend is proper fit clothing um i love how they give the instruction the instruction is very very good and the way they make their money mainly is by selling patterns on their website so i have noted that they are mostly like a streetwear brand but they focus on bags so if you're the kind of person who likes streetwear or making bags because they do all sorts of bags um, very unique um, i would definitely recommend proper fit i would recommend buying their patterns and because the instruction is so good you can actually just follow through as you use their patterns the main issue you may have is not being able to have all the materials they they have but i think you can figure it out if you decide to follow them and they do put links of where they purchase things on their description box they always write um all the links to where you can buy the raw materials because their focus is actually to sell patterns so if you really want to make nice hats they also do a lot of hats hats and bags definitely this is a channel for you the fourth one is the crafts channel this channel seems to have different hosts although the host i see most is corinne brad i have seen some with Stuart hillard and some other hosts so i think generally it's just a channel that hires people to teach you different crafts um i definitely just stuck to um the sewing crafts that are done mostly by corinne and they are very very good especially for small simple projects there are other projects for crochet knitting making cards doing tie-dye doing wire work felting origami clay and all that they have all sorts of things on their channel but definitely you you will get very very good content from this channel and you can learn how to do very simple projects um, especially as a sewing beginner and if you just want unique projects that everyone else is not doing this is definitely a channel you should check out the fifth and last um, of the crafts section um, the craft channel that I recommend is DIY crafts TV this is a channel actually owned by a lady called Tatiana so the thing about Tatiana is that she doesn't speak when she is doing her content so it's basically just music and you watch and she does and i think generally because of how she does it it's very easy to follow she does mention on her profile that she is not an experienced seamstress she did not she's not a professional so i think she also is just doing sewing as a hobby and she makes a lot of things um, in a way that someone who is not a professional sewist or someone who doesn't sew professionally will be able to follow so she's definitely um, a channel i would recommend she does mostly accessories so a lot of bags wallets purses backpacks um, diy upcycling of clothes organizing ideas school diys just basically um so it, she's definitely a channel you should check out because i think it's very very good content and i'm sure you will enjoy it now we move on to the clothes and we start with my favorite costume designer so far just because she is just a breath of fresh hair Hazariel Costumes is the name of the channel and the owner is Ariel and Ariel is from south of France Montpellier I don't even know if I've pronounced that right she's very passionate about costume making she went to fashion school a long time ago got into costume making but mostly worked in small scale stage design I think the pandemic she mentioned something about the pandemic um is the one that actually inspired her to start the channel and i discovered her last year when she made her fabulous leather corset from a tv show that i really like um 
and i was so impressed with if you watch that video you'll understand why she's very good at filming her process and making it interesting and giving the story behind everything and you can tell that she just really enjoys herself when she's doing that work it doesn't feel like work when she's doing it feels like oh i'm just chilling in the house and this is what i'm doing and she even won her and a friend won um costume competition in japan um in 2022 and it was just very interesting seeing that whole process again and it's so interesting seeing how cosplay um has come up so much and she's definitely um a channel worth checking out even just for her bubbly personality you might end up watching it even if you're not interested in sewing so definitely check her out and if you're interested in cosplay following her might be good because you may get tips on where to um apply and things like that and maybe even tips of winning and things like that so definitely she's worth checking out so next we have blueprint diy and the owner of the channel is angelina now angelina is very interesting because she's actually a trained architect and she actually left that career because she doesn't really talk like she's still an architect to be a full-time youtuber and she does upcycling of clothes so if generally you are just interested in learning how to sew to make your clothes more interesting angelina is the person you should follow she approaches sewing in a very interesting way i like how she thinks i think also because of how she's an architect she has a very technical way of thinking about construction and clothes but the outcome of her projects are always so artistic in some way um and she will always get inspiration from the most out of the box um, sources. So if you really just want your clothes to be over the top and you love upcycling and you just want to make unique clothes for yourself, then Angelina's channel is for you. And you can even see from the photos, it just looks amazing. And she has also done a couple of fashion shows and she always explains those. And she also has a reality show on YouTube, meaning that if, you like to do diy projects you can actually apply to be on her reality show i don't know if she's going to do it this year so far she hasn't announced it but it's called the next top upcycler um so it is definitely um worth checking out on top of that she also has a community page on facebook where people share their diys on the platform and people encourage each other there so definitely check out angelina's channel blueprint diy and and i'm sure you'll enjoy it and she also does a lot of sewing machine reviews uh, because i think she every time a new machine comes out she she does a review and she also does the strength she checks the strength of the machine and because she loves to use strong fabrics like denim she likes to test how many layers machines can so her sewing machine reviews are also very very helpful so do check that channel out so the next channel is crescent shay and the person who owns the channel is called shay she's only 22 years old and she started a channel in 2015 so she was basically a teenager when she started and she just she's just incredible um she's so i didn't realize how big of a soloist she was until i saw almost all platforms she's over a million in followers and she does she's generally doing very well she's even invited to premieres of movies that means she probably has a very very big following especially with the gen z um do check out her channel because she does the most interesting projects and the way she thinks is just amazing i really haven't followed her for very long to know how she started sewing um i don't know if she self-taught or she had classes in school because i know some of these schools in the west do have um so in classes maybe when you're in school um and then some people pick it up from there so i i don't know her experience um but she's very good she thinks in a very over the top way she doesn't let um she doesn't let um challenges affect her trying to do something so even if there's a there's just something up with the, how the outfit will come out she'll always push through and do it personally i think between her and the last person i will share i don't know what they do with their pieces i really don't i feel like they make so many over the top pieces you know and like angelina who i know she wears the clothes she makes because they are still a bit of everyday clothes i don't know what crescent shade does with hers 
so it will be very interesting to know what she does with her clothes yeah but definitely check that channel out it's amazing then we have kulirpa basically the owner of the channel is called april and i think kulirpa the lirpa part is her name backwards it took me a while to figure that out she's been on youtube for 12 years so she started off when she's very young i have followed a bit of her journey when before she got married she got married she made her own dress i think she got married during the pandemic and she has grown she's one of the top youtubers actually top fashion youtubers um in the world in terms of the ones who sew because i know there are people who have fashion channels but they just basically do news on fashion but for um someone who sews she's one of the top youtubers and she has a lot of diy fashion upcycle she loves to thrift 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 so a lot of her upcycles are about thrifting and sewing very simple clothes and she seems to be very um she loves draping so you will always see that she has a mannequin and she'll always do the draping thing i always admire who can do draping because i am such a patterns person i really i really think i might need more practice in draping but i find just working with patterns easier for me i can translate the 2d into 3d in my head so yeah the people who just do 3d my respect so she loves to refashion her old clothes and yeah so she did her fashion some sewing classes in community college and then she puts the tutorials on her youtube channel um i don't think she sells anything um and i don't think she offers classes she just has her youtube channel so she's just like a sewing youtuber and her clothes some of her clothes are very practical to wear so if you just want basic um clothes um just to know how to sew them she will she's a good person to follow i've even seen her doing things like upcycling maybe clothes that are were her mom's clothes or one of her old dresses and she's redoing them and things like that so if you're interested in things like that it's definitely worth checking out so lastly it's mikera towers and her, her name is also mikera and she started around 2010 this girl is a youtuber and she actually managed to buy her house if you watch any of her latest content she bought her house because of being a youtuber so that is already inspirational in itself she's a very good storyteller someone some people might find the way she does things annoying but i think it's very interesting and quirky because it makes you just want to know what what this girl is going to do she lives with a parrot that's always on her shoulder when she's sewing and she has just the most awkward pets and things like that she lived in a trailer for a while and then she bought a house so you will get to know her family and her life a lot she was homeschooled and all that but she has a very interesting life and she basically does a lot of um sewing projects that are basically she uses a lot of unconventional materials so she made a dress from a sofa for example she's made from bed sheets she's made from curtains she basically tries to use whatever it is she has very rarely will she go to the shop to buy things and she will show you and sometimes she'll even repurpose um things from a project she had already done but she rarely does um this thing where she goes to buy fabric for every project i don't know what she does with all those clothes anyway but she seems to um like thrive in just doing cosplay because a lot of the projects she does are very cosplay it's either she's cosplaying a celebrity or cosplaying a character so it's always very very interesting she's very very good even with her makeup and everything she does for her project so it explains why she, she's probably gotten a lot of followers and yeah so she's definitely worth checking out um on her channel and i'm sure you will completely enjoy it as well this is it for this series about hobbies i hope it's insightful i hope you've learned a lot i hope a lot of you will take up sewing even if it's not for um anything you want to wear um it's for your mental health it is for your coordination i had coordination all the other health benefits or a very good way to start making gifts for people <laughs> anyway um i just hope it's been helpful even if it's just to learn how to sew to mend your clothes it's enough 
it's enough to just start so so i hope all this has been helpful and i hope that um, I will hear from you if you're interested in the treasure box and I guess I will see you next week with a whole new series. Thank you so much for your support and I guess I'll see you next week. Bye!